Well, we have just opened uh, restaurants uh, over the weekend, over the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I think they feel pretty good about the fact that people are coming back to restaurants. Uh, we opened retail on May 1st. Uh, I think they are slowly coming back. Um, uh, there are things that are still not open. Uh, gymnasiums are not open. Uh, we still, uh, you know, our, our swimming pools uh, for the summer and things like that are not open yet. Uh, we will, uh, the city will be putting out some guidance for summer camps and things mm -hmm. like that. But uh, all in all, things are going pretty well. With a population, I believe, of more than 250,000, you do qualify for the Fed's Municipal Liquidity Facility Program. Do you plan to take advantage of that? And if not, how are you planning to close what could be a big budget deficit this year? Yeah, we're actually about 480,000 people, 39th largest city in the country. Um, we are monitoring our uh, revenue shortfalls month by month. Uh, Revenue was down 14% in March. We know it's going to be worse than that in April. Uh, we could have a very problematic tourism season. Tourism is a big part of our economy. Uh, so far, uh, we have cut $20.8 million out of the budget with uh, hiring freezes, deferring capital projects, things like that. We are setting up trigger points where we're prepared to uh, make other cuts as we reach certain uh, uh, milestones in terms of revenue shortfalls. We were able to take advantage of some CARES Act funding. We got $37.5 million through our county, uh, and through guidance from the Treasury, we are able to apply that to uh, police and fire payroll. So that will certainly help. Uh, we will not be take, we will not be borrowing any money. There's limitations mm. on that in the city charter. Uh, we cannot run a deficit. We have to balance the budget. I think now we're looking at whether or not there'll be a phase four in the CARES Act with some rate revenue stabilization money to the cities. But ultimately, right. we'll make whatever cuts we have to to balance the budget.